Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be cutting up another loaf in front of you. This loaf is by Hearts and Tarts. This is one of their wax loaves in cherry slush, fruit loops, lemon, and serendipity. The pour date on this was 5 2013 so May 20th, and today's date is July 16th. So it has been extremely close to two months. So I am going to finally cut into it. Um, I think it's really important that you let your loaves cure for at least a month, um, if not longer, if you can fold out. Um, just because of the fact that, oh my goodness, does this smell good? Um, just because of the fact that Sometimes it takes that long um, to cure, especially a big item like this. So I am going to get rid of my bag. Um, just before we start out, I want to mention that I have lined my table with wax paper. Um, let me see if I can fold this under so you guys can see a little bit better here. There we go. So I lined everything with wax paper and I am using this bag, these bags that I got from a local vendor. Um, I actually bought these from her and I just put a little label on there saying what um, the, you know, loaf is. It's from Hearts and Tarts and it's Cherry Slush, Fruit Loops, Lemon and Serendipity. And this smells absolutely amazing. So let me show you the loaf and what it looks like it's so beautiful this is two pounds a little bit over two pounds actually it's just a gorgeous gorgeous loaf and oh my god it smells absolutely delicious oh there goes one of my bags okay let me get this up so first things first usually what i do and i've i've never cut a loaf from hearts and tarts before so the first thing i'm going to do is actually try to get it out of the loaf pan and this wax I notice is a little bit harder than um, some of the other wax loaves that I have been cutting up so far I cut up um, some loaves from a company that has closed I cut up um, a loaf also from the scented princess and oops and that was a big hit so basically, I'm just going to kind of tear into this loaf a little bit. Um, let's see if this puppy pops out. And yes, it does. It pops out pretty easily. So there is the destroyed tin. Oh, it smells so good. I will set that to the side. And I'm just going to kind of move everything a little bit over to the side here. Um, just real quick. So it's just a little bit closer to me. There we go, you guys can still see. Let me move my lighting a little bit over. There, and we will get started. Now, like I said, this, this wax consistency is a little bit different for me. Um, it is a little bit hard looking, so I think I'm going to cut into it this way first. Oh, actually, it's extremely crumbly. Um, I wasn't expecting that, okay. So this is some of it. It's kind of crumbly. Um, I'm just going to actually put it in the bag like that. Here is some of the embeds. And actually, it's it kind of reminds me, the consistency, it reminds me of chalk. <clears throat> Excuse me, like sidewalk chalk. It kind of crumbles like that as well. Just like sidewalk chalk. It smells delicious. It's just um, not really the consistency that I was expecting. So let me get this wax up. Again, if you don't like getting your hands dirty, which this sometimes can be really messy, um, again, like I said, you guys can buy gloves, surgical gloves at Walmart. Um, they have them there, I know. Let's cut into the next area here and it's just it's almost like it's shaving off okay so um 
here's another chunk. As you can see, it kind of resembles sidewalk chalk. So anyway, um, like I was saying, you can buy the gloves at Walmart. Um, really cheap, really inexpensive gloves if you don't like getting your hands dirty. But I'm just cutting them up kind of into chunks this size, maybe an ounce, an ounce, a little bit over an ounce. That way I can put them in my warmer. Oh, it smells so good. And um, I don't know if maybe this wax looks the way it does because I did wait a little bit longer. Um, but let's get into these colors. This is really pretty. So I'm just going to fill my bag up to the top. Um, one thing I did notice about this loaf compared to the company that closed, um, I'm sure you guys already know who I'm talking about, but um, this loaf, actually, I'm not getting any oil on my hands. My hands don't feel greasy at all, not like um, the other loaf did. And the Scented Princess didn't either. I didn't feel, you know, anything greasy, I guess, of any sort. Now let me see if I can cut into the loaf the long way, even though it's pretty much half, whoa, halfway. Um, so you just kind of see it's just a little bit crumbly. Um, personally, if I were to redo this loaf, and I am going to be talking to the owner, I would make the wax a little bit softer. Um, it just seems very dry to me. And I feel like if you're making a loaf, it really shouldn't be this dry and flaky. But I think she just started making loaves actually when I contacted her and when I ordered this. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Let me try to focus in there. There we go. So I do like the yellow and the purple together. Um, it is very pretty. Okay, I think this bag has had its day. It's pretty full. So let me just kind of shake it down a bit to get the wax to kind of go down. And basically you just fold it over and then close it. And then there's the first bag right there. So what I've noticed too is that like the loaves look so big. And then when you cut into them and put them in these bags, um, it's amazing how much wax can fit into this little bag because um, when I saw the bags I thought oh these are kind of small I'm probably gonna need like three or four bags for one loaf no you only need two so that's not bad whoops there goes my bag so let us put this back in here let's continue cutting So if any of you guys have had loaves like this, um, leave comments down below and let me know. Um, one thing I will say, though, about this loaf is that it is extremely fragranted. It's pretty strong here. I mean, it is a definite, you know, I can smell the serendipity. I can smell the Fruit Loops. I can smell the cherry note in there also. And then I can smell the uh, lemon as well. Oh, it's like a mountain. I mean, hers is really high too. Her, um, her loaf is pretty tall compared to other loaves, I feel. She really kind of mounded on the wax. But isn't that pretty? I just think it does look really pretty. So I'm almost done. Get this chunked up. And if you guys have any other suggestions too, like on how you cut your loaves, um, you know, what other techniques you guys have that I'm not using that maybe I could benefit from, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I ordered from um, JLCCW, so I do have a pie and a loaf that is still curing. I want to let that puppy cure for at least two months. Um, 
and I want, you know, to let the loaf and the pie cure for at least two months. And then I will cut into that one. But as of right now, this is basically the last loaf that I have um, in my display. The last loaf that I have left in my display that I will be using to cut up. Um, the next one will be probably in a month, I'm guessing. So there we go. Let me just get the very last bit of shavings in there. Because you want to get every last bit. We don't want to waste anything as I'm making a mess of my table. But that is why I have my wax paper down. And there we go. Let me just, now this bag actually is really overflowed. Um, I'm probably going to be melting some of this tonight as well. So, there we go. Got to really close this puppy up. There. So, that is basically how I cut into that loaf. Um, I don't know, I really just like doing these videos, showing you guys how I do it, um, and getting tips from you guys as to how you cut into your wax. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down below, and have a great day. Bye, guys.